Ahoy and welcome aboard this cozy and easy to handle classic sailboat, the O'Day 25. One of the first things to notice is the custom made canvas that covered the entire vessel, which is one of the main reasons this boat seems to be in such good condition. As you step aboard the vessel and into the spacious cockpit area, you will see custom made wood decking and a well balanced tiller. To the stern, you will see the Suzuki outboard. Walking forward from the cockpit to the bow to access the sails or the Lumar anchor is easy and safe with the wide side rail decks. On the foredeck there is the V-berth hatch and the stainless steel rails will help keep you safe while handling the anchor or the sails. The very roomy cockpit has plenty of seating so you can invite your friends and family for a great day out on the waters of the Puget Sound. Down a couple of steps from the cockpit you will find the salon and galley. Long thick upholstered benches on both sides make for comfortable seating. This galley has a toaster oven, sink, and again more custom made drawers and storage. Between the salon and the V-berth you will find a head with a wing door for privacy. Just another example of the well thought out designs that have gone into the construction of the O'Day vessels. Further forward you come to the V-berth cabin which is very spacious and can be personally configured for the best setup for you and your guests on many different styles of trips. There is plenty of storage under the V-berth and you will also find the chain locker up in the forepeak. The V-berth is well illuminated by proper placement of personal reading lights and a hatch that provides ventilation or access to the foredeck if desired. The thick comfortable cushions make an overnight or extended jaunt very comfortable. If you are ready to fill your sails and run with the wind to new bays and distant harbors, look no further than this fun and cozy O'Day 25. Contact me, Jeff McRoy, Waterline Boats, Port Townsend, 360-808-2009. Have a great day and safe cruising.